What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, man, and let's talk about it. Somebody brought this up on Instagram, and I said, wow, this is a good topic. Let's discuss it on the world stage. Carmelo Anthony. Which team is the better fit for him? The Rockets or Cleveland? That's a good question. Now, of course, you see the photo. You look at Brown like, Melo, you know better. You know where you need to be. Harden like, well, there's a lot of strip clubs out here, bro. <laughs> you know, you can get you a Kardashian if you want, you know. You know, I know Lala was nice, but it's a lot of Lala's in Houston, man. Let me take you to the strip club. <laughs> bro, I like, Melo, now come on. You know I'm on TV every day. You know I don't miss the finals. Don't you want to be in the finals? If you want to go to the finals, man, I could buy you a ticket, man. Look, we got CP3. You know that's your homeboy, man. Y'all saw y'all boat riding together, man. You know, he gonna be over here. That way you can kick it with him. I know Brian, your buddy, but come on, man. We need you, man. We could beat Golden State. We got you. Don't you want to beat the job? No. <laughs> Don't be believing that, Melo. You know they ain't going nowhere. You know, <laughs> they're going up against a super team, man. Only way to beat them is in the finals. On national TV, with you by my side, we got the commercials, we got it all, baby. Come on over here to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> now, the actual what's going on with Melo. Man, that's too far from my son. <laughs> I ain't going over there. But uh, here's the scenario, though, who he fit better for. Uh, it's hard to say. No, it ain't. He fit better with the Rockets. But let's play devil's advocate. Let's say he goes to Cleveland. Um, whose spot does he take? Obviously, if you got Melo, where is Kevin Love going to be? On the bench? So let's say they start Melo, Kevin Love, Kyrie, LeBron, and Tristan Thompson. Okay? That's your starting lineup. Where do they play defense at? Tristan Thompson is strictly the defender. He's strictly the rebounder. Carmelo spreads the floor, but he's an isolation player also. He'll be forced this season to just go right to the post because nobody's going to be in the box unless they're going to let finally let Kevin Love do what he does best go to the post, and be able to work and not be a catch and spot shoot up, you know, shooting type of guy. LeBron liked to catch and shoot guy. He's one pass and out. They don't move the ball. They don't communicate on defense. So you're going to a team that's defensively not good. How do you expect to continuously beat teams in the East who, contrary to what people think, are actually getting better? Now, you look at a situation with the Rockets. You got, what, Trevor Ariza, um, who else they got? You have Melo, Trevor Ariza, uh, Nene, uh, is Nene on that team still? Yep, I think they just re-signed Nene. You got Chris Paul, James Harden. That's your starting five. A very good offensive team. They're on the West Coast, West Division. Um, same problem applies. You have too many ball stoppers on this team. Neither team will beat the Golden State Warriors. They don't communicate and share the ball well. They play the same style of basketball. The Houston Rockets play just like Cleveland. They play a you score, I score type game 
And whoever missed the most shots lose. That's not how the Golden State Warriors play basketball. Cleveland hit and shot more threes than Cleveland. I mean the Golden State in the finals. People missed that. They hit more three-pointers in the NBA Finals than the Golden State Warriors, and they were blown out in three of the games that they <laughs> that they played. They won one game in which they scored 140-some points, and the game was still in question with six minutes to go because you gave up like 115. If you're not playing defense... You're not going to win in this league. You got to play some sort of defense. You have to move the ball. You have to communicate. You're not going to win the championship doing anything other than. Now, what are you going to do now? I don't think where Melo's going to go is going to make a difference. At least not this season. By far. He could go to Cleveland. They might get to the NBA Finals. He'll finally have his shot because the league will put him there, but what's it going to do? They're just going to get to the floor and get embarrassed again. You might as well stay in New York, man. Keep the money. And before you go, two more years or whatever you got on your contract, then make your move. By then, Golden State should be breaking up. Then the floor is yours to choose what's the best fit for you to go get a championship. That's the best move. Stay put. Because wherever you go, no NBA championship is coming your way. That's already said and done, so might as well stay right where you at. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out.